Hey guys, welcome to the first ever episode of Hey That's My Toy, uh, brought to you in part by Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru's Jerky Imperial Made Tatooine Fresh. Hi guys, it's, Je it's Violet coming at you with uh, some toy reviews. Uh, it's a new segment we're going to do. We're going to do a toy review every Monday night. Um, the first, it'll be just different toys. It could be action figures. It could be um, random toys that my wife picks up. Uh, any random toy that people pick up and just you know either want to send me or whatever else we're going to go ahead and do a review of it. Um, tonight's uh, the very first episode so I thought I would do a review of one of my own action figures. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of Star Wars Black action figures and I happen to have the Star Wars Black uh, number 11 Luke Skywalker and this is the Cloud City Skywalker um, where he's you know dressed in his Cloud City gear, uh, loses his hand you know, oh you're not my father, you know, that's impossible, which is funny, best line in the movie. Great. So, as you can see, the uh, cover, it's a 6-inch figure, so it's uh, definitely better than the 3.5s as far as I'm concerned. Some of the um, articulation and some of the molding on the 3.5s isn't all that great, but um, with the 6-inch figures, you get a little bit uh, a little bit more articulation. Definitely some, some better molding as far as I'm concerned. Uh, front of the box, you know, it comes with Luke, of course, his blue lightsaber that he made. This is, you have to remember, this is the one that he made. Not the one that he lost. Or no, this is the one that he loses. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, correction. This is the one that he loses in this one. Um, also, he has uh, his blaster. And uh, his hand is already useful for that. So, <clears throat> back in the box says, Luke, Luke battles Darth Vader on a narrow platform in Cloud City and rejects Ray Vader's urging to turn to the dark side and rule the galaxy with him. You'll find I'm full of surprises. In quotation marks. Uh, <laughs> I love this on the back of the box it says some poses may require additional support so if you I don't know if like you have he need, Luke needs a fluffer just like in porn you gotta have the fluffer Luke needs someone to come over and hold his arm up and shit so alright uh, it's a little dusty because it's been hanging up for a while um, as you can tell I do have uh, quite a bit of figures that they'll show you real quick we'll be going over those uh, in the next couple of uh, weeks also, everything else on my wall. Um, <clears throat> so, let's get to open this bad boy up. I'm feeling feisty tonight. You feel that in the air lately? No? My wife's working the camera, so I'm trying to get her to talk, and she's refusing. So, say hi. Say hi to the people I open this box. Just review your toy. Ah, review my toy. And that I shall. <laughs> because reviewing toys is what I love. So as you can see, the box is uh, pretty cool. When you open it, um, it can you can put the figure back in, which is really neat. That's definitely something um, I like. Just make sure that you, uh, it does have one piece of tape on it usually. Sometimes they do have two. It really depends on the store um, that you're going at. Um, this one I believe was a Target buy. So it of course has uh, one piece of tape because Target don't give a damn about two pieces of tape. Play some cheap pages. So, uh, with this one, uh, the packaging is really nice. The overall look of the action figure, as you can see, is pretty spifferific. Um, yeah, he's got great articulation. He's got you know quite a few points of articulation. Um, the molding is very, very nice on it. Uh, his belt is actually really, really good if you want to zoom in on that. Um, his belt is pretty sweet. It has uh, the actual holster here. I believe one sec. Can actually hold his blaster. And that was always kind of a feature you wished you had with all your other action figures growing up as a kid. Like you always got the guns with them, but you're always like, man, I wish they had something to hold them. And it looks like if you. I guess make love to this enough. Maybe like you have to take it out to dinner or something. Give it a little hits, but I don't know. It's not making any sense. Oh no, there it is. Oh yeah, that's nice. She likes that. Oh, it even has a little clip for it right there. So it fits right in the holster. And then of course he has his iconic lightsaber, which. Uh... Holy crap! The lightsaber's gone. <laughs> Did 
Did we drop the lightsaber? <laughs> did you drop it? Why did you make me drop it? That's not nice. So my wife made me drop it. Cause she was making me laugh, which you guys all saw. I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere down here I dropped it. I don't know where. But he has one. We know that. <laughs> zoom, zoom. See? It's just, it's invisible. It's, it's, it, I dropped it. Sorry. But anywho, <clears throat> it's a really nice figure. Uh, it really does have uh, good articulation. And, you know, for the size, it's really nice. Uh, you know, his knees bend, uh, like literally. Um, ankle joints, everything. You know, not too shabby. I know there's a lot of reviews online about toys and stuff like that. And I know that there's a lot of people bashing the uh, Star Wars black figures. But, um, you know, I'm not one of those guys who's, like, totally into bashing everything and stuff like that. So I'm more into just, you know, if it's a good figure and I like it and, you know, I can impress my kid with it, you know, like, I, you know, my son will be like, oh, dad, that's really neat, you know. That, that, that's a good figure to me. So, you know, if it impresses a child, you're a grown-up. Deal with it. It impresses them, dude, it'll impress you. And if it doesn't, then go cry and, I don't know, in your pillow or something. That's probably sticky. <laughs> in your mom's basement. Gross. Alright, so that's it for tonight's segment. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, please. Uh, make sure you comment below uh, if you have any comments or anything. If you'd like to see me uh, do any other figures or anything like that, let me know. And please like and subscribe and pass the word around that I am a new channel. And uh, by the time... Oh, with... Um, I want to get to 50 subscribers uh, by June. If I can get to 50 subscribers by June, the 50th subscriber... Uh, can issue me a challenge, and I will do that challenge. So, uh, hopefully that'll happen. Thanks, guys.